uh, in factories when they're producing particle board, they, when they put resin onto fibres, uh, onto sorry, particles, uh, they don't use cement mixes, surprisingly enough. Uh, they use devices which usually have some sort of system where there's a set of nozzles that uh, rotates within a drum or the drum rotates around the nozzles. The particles are agitated, probably with an airstream or something, and the resin is sprayed and the particles go in one end and out the other. Um, and the idea is to get a nebulised uh, spray of uh, resin in the air and the particles will run through that, that spray, basically. Uh, there are variants on these types of things, but the principle is basically to get as much resin coating uh, the surface of the particles as possible. And obviously you don't want the resin to enter the particles and there's an awful lot of science that goes into making sure that the whole thing is optimised. Not enough resin, the particles won't stick together. Too much resin is a waste of money, basically, so it's all very subtly balanced and they're constantly monitoring these things to make sure that they get just the right, um, just the right properties. So if we then continue with the particle board manufacture, I've talked about classification. Classification is a very important aspect of particle board. As I said, the old types of particle board used to um, didn't bother, so they weren't very good quality. But these days what they try and do, and they do pretty successfully, is they want the small particles to be on the outside because you want to have a nice smooth surface. The medium sized particles next, and then the really big stuff in the middle. Obviously the bigger the particles, the less adhesive gets used, so there are advantages to big particles. Uh, and uh, the smaller the particles, the smoother. So you don't really want to have the small ones all the way through the board because then you've got more interfaces, you're going to have to use more glue. So they're much better off on the outside. The medium-sized ones clearly are better off in the middle and the big ones are better off in the middle of the particle board. Um, so it's a balance here of making sure that when you go through your secondary chip production uh, that you get the right balance of small, medium and large particles. So again, the principles are pretty simple, but the actual subtleties of getting it right, there's a lot of science and sophistication goes into that. Um, so how do we get this spread when we're producing on a sheet of metal? We want to get this onto this type of structure. Um, onto that piece of metal. I was thinking about setting this as homework actually, but uh, if you want it as homework, switch off now. <laughs> Otherwise, keep watching. So what we do is we have the particles dropping into some sort of a bin device. Particles, that isn't how you spell it. Particles. Uh, and we can have an airflow coming in here agitating them and the idea here is that the small particles because of the agitation will go on the outside the medium sized ones will go in the middle and the big ones will just drop down so there's a fair bit of subtlety going on there another way we could do this would be to use some sort of centrifugal classification I'll talk about that in a minute but what we've got here is an arrangement where small stuff will drop like that Big stuff will drop straight down and middle sized stuff will do that. So what happens is these particles here, these land on the board first of all. The middle sized ones then land on top of that as this board is moving in that direction. Then the big stuff drops on there and then as we keep going excuse me while I draw the particles, then the middle sized ones drop there and then finally the little ones land like that. It's all very clever. This type of arrangement, this thing here, this device is called a forming station and this type of forming station here is using an air classification system but we can use a centrifugal classification system as I mentioned previously in which case we can have forming stations where the particles drop down, there's a little bit more to it than I'm explaining here, 
and they hit a wheel which is spinning round and the idea now is that the ones that are spinning out the furthest will be the heaviest particles and the medium sized particles will spin that far and the little ones will not spin very far because they haven't got, uh, they don't have much energy because they don't weigh very much. So in that way we can have big, middle and small working like that. So if we now, now want to form a graduated board like that with the big stuff in the middle, the medium stuff and then the small stuff, we're going to have to have two forming stations operating. We're going to need one here and one here. So we've got the big particles dropping out there, the medium and the small. Small, medium, big, big, medium, small. And as a consequence, we'll get small stuff there, medium stuff there, big stuff there, and so on and so forth. So that double centrifugal forming station will also give us a graduated board. All very clever. <laughs>